did it. So many in the yachting world never thought we would. Some thought we didn't have the talent, others thought we didn't have the resources, but our talent and our resourcefulness have been underestimated before. And once again, we've taken on the world, and against all the odds, not only competed fairly and honorably, but this time also won. We should all understand that this has left many, not just those in the competitive world of yachting, scratching their heads. They're staggered that a nation of our size has managed to pull this off. Our technical and engineering abilities, our tactical and planning skills, and our single-minded ability to pool resources and focus totally on the task at hand are now under the global spotlight. That's why we've always believed that this has been a lot more than a yacht race. It's given us the chance to show the world the extraordinary collection of skills and talents that this country of ours somehow manages to pull together. Win or lose, we committed to Team New Zealand a long time ago. Because win or lose, we knew the team would get there with dedication, commitment, and above all, with integrity. So, as the five principal supporters of Team New Zealand, can we take this opportunity to acknowledge the other challenges, to warmly congratulate Prada on their achievements, and to suggest to Team New Zealand that, as a nation, the best tribute we can possibly pay you is simply try and follow your example. <laughs>